three, two, one. Are you happy? Of course, I'm happy. <laughs> this is Candagola Beach and it is really a happy place. For those of you who've seen our last video, yes, we are still here, but today we are going out because Rap Island is nicknamed the Happy Island. So there has to be more than just this beach. How to find happiness? It's a question that crosses all of our minds at some point. Coming to the Happy Island seemed like a good idea, but where do we start? We decided to go to a place of which we know that it can make us very happy. We've heard that there are some nude beaches or some nude sections at this part of the island. It's definitely not this beach, but yeah, that's something we could expect because we are right next to a bar and next to the road. There's a nude beach. <laughs> You can walk further. I don't know. I think it's more that way. Feels like we're back in Ibiza. <laughs> it's beautiful though. It is really cool, but it's not a not near beach. So it's nothing for us. I do see empty beaches, so I think we're on the right. Beautiful empty beach. Nice. What do you think? This is one nice beach. And it's ours. <laughs> it's all for us. I don't see FKK written on the rocks. FKK is German for Freie Corporal Culture, which means free body culture, which basically means you can just go naked. But I mean, we're far enough from the people, there's nobody on the beach, so we're not offending anybody. This is gonna make me very, very happy once I'm in, because it's super hot. This is not what I expected at all, at least not when we arrived at the beach club. I thought that we would have to search for a while, hike for a while, maybe crisscross the island before we would find something reasonable, but <laughs> we just, we're already here, look at this. This is a paradise beach, it's completely for ourselves. It's even a sandy beach, which is very, very uncommon in Croatia. Maybe we already discovered the secret of why this is the happy island. Maybe it's just because it's so beautiful that it's impossible not to be happy. So this is it. Happiness is a small beach on Rap Island. I, I don't really know how we are going to continue this video right now, but we can think about it for a minute. Could it be that easy? Are the magnificent beaches on Rap where you can easily swim naked the key to ultimate happiness? We would love to believe this, but figured that there might be something more. Quickly in between, remember the slide at the beginning of this video? Well, that is Candarola Beach. It's not only a very happy place to be on Rap Island, it is also the first official nude beach in the world and the sponsor of this video. For more than 30 years, the owners of Candarola have been creating a unique oasis for Nature's Day visitors. There are sun beds and parasols, a beach bar and an amazing restaurant, a volleyball court, a social pool and and of course, the warm waters of the Adriatic Sea. It is thanks to the efforts of Candarola that Rap is a top nature's destination in Croatia and that every year more visitors to the island embrace this wonderful way of living. As a token of appreciation, they are giving away their ebook called Naturism and Sustainability, as well as their booklet, which is full with tips and tricks of Candarola Beach. You can download both via the link in the description. Also, make sure you check out their website at fkkbeachcandarola.com. Thanks to all the lovely people at Candarola Beach for sponsoring this video and for giving away all this cool stuff for our viewers, for you. So now, back to our quest. To continue our search for the key to happiness, we went to what's probably the happiest place on Earth. No, not Disneyland. The Happy Island Tourist Office, where we met up with Luca and Natalie. In order to not lose any precious time, we immediately dropped the important question. I want to know why Rob is called the Happy Island. He <laughs> <laughs> With this tremendous task on her shoulders, Natalie took us into Rap Town. 
With us, I mean Nick and I and Andrina, who you may remember as the royal wedding photographer from our previous video. Along the way, the four of us try to find out the secret to happiness. Like maybe, it. it's some, maybe it's something in the water. <laughs> maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe. <laughs> maybe it is the water, or the air, or the warm Mediterranean sun. Maybe it is the buildings or the architecture. People know each other. It's like a big family, you know, and you can, you can feel safe and relaxed and stuff. So it is, you know, you're happy here. Why not? But as always, the ingredient becomes crystal clear once you spot it. Well, ingredients. Lemon, almonds, sugar and liquor. Okay, these cookies are also made according to those old recipes and here you have them. These cookies can last for one year. Beautiful, it's delicious and it can last for a long time. Yeah, we not talking. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme. I want to try it. <laughs> oh, great. This is so good. This makes me happy. Mm, take more, take more. <laughs> so, cheers. 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 It was obvious, if rap cake is part of your local diet, it is impossible not to be happy. We had successfully discovered the secret of the happy islands. But on our way back, the conversation returned to our first idea. Here, there is also nudist beach. Mm -hmm. And then you have also the Enka. It's actually optional and Sahara is optional. <laughs> so you have two official Nudist beaches and actually, but actually for yeah, 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 yeah. Apparently there was a whole area in the north of Rap Island with several more nude beaches for us to discover. This is where we would realize that our train of thoughts had one big flaw. There was one element that we had not taken into account. What if the people of Rap were not human? We've been told that this part of Rap Island has the most beautiful beaches. I just hope that we can find them because this is a, a labyrinth of all hiking trails and drive small roads like gravel roads. According to maps, we're just past the hiking trail to the beach. You're not making me happy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good start. Should be this one. Here? Ah, yeah, there's a trail. Okay. Just a, a little bit hidden. This is a completely different Croatia than what we've seen before. It's still rocky, but not the dark, sharp rocks. It's more like dune landscape. Dune rocks. Dune rocks. <laughs> Both dune as in. Dunes on the beach as June as in the movie. I'm not sure if I would call this a happy place. It's also a bit of a creepy place with the, there are several people just wading through the water aimlessly. It has a bit of a, a science fiction movie, like they've just, just been dropped from outer space or, well, yeah. or getting born here in, in the sea. Yeah, and they have no idea where they are, they're like looking for something. They're like human pelicans. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we just have too much imagination. No, not pelicans, flamingos. If they now stand on one leg, then it's definitely flamingo. Come on, stand on one leg. It's the revenge of the flamingo people. <laughs> and we were there. We were there to witness it. I just hope we will survive it. Flamingo people are coming our way. Somebody will have to get in there and meet them. I think it should be you. Just for the record, if she also starts acting weird, I'm getting out of here and it will be the Just Nick channel.
Dank je, Lidske. Did you make contact with the flamenco people? <laughs> no, I'm scared of them. <laughs> It's funny, they're scared of you. They all left when you went in. Yeah. <laughs> The most logical explanation is just that it's fun to walk endlessly while it's not very deep here, but I don't know. Yeah, it's just, it's nice. I get it, I don't feel it, but I get it. She became one of them. Run, <laughs> run! All flamingo people, jokes aside, it wasn't really a bad vibe here, but it's most of all a very quiet vibe. So I wouldn't really call it a, a happy vibe unless that's what you're looking for. If you really like quiet and solitude and few other people, then maybe this is a happy place for you. But we think we can do better and there are several other nude beaches here. So let's have a look around, get some exercise. The other nude beach is right over there, right where the boat is. I'm just not sure if we can get there without having to swim. It is technically an island, but it doesn't look like one that's very difficult to get to. You need to become one of us. Flamingo. The only tricky part is try not to slip with a bag of camera gear. That wasn't so good. That was very necessary to undress for. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so much nicer to be undressed than to make it. There are only two other couples on this beach, but it's a really small beach, so this makes vlogging pretty uncomfortable. But at least they look like real humans and not weird flamingo people. We would have loved to show you more of this place, but we don't like to be the creeps with cameras on nude beaches. So here are some drone shots instead. Maybe we've been a bit too quick to judge because now that the sun is fully out, this place completely changes. The colors are a lot more vibrant. There are also many more people arriving. There are lots of boats arriving and literally everybody is naked. The only thing I'm missing is a bar boat or a beer boat or even just an ice boat because it gets really warm. Or a mojito boat. That would make me really happy, but even without, this is a really happy place. But if you're also coming to rap and you want to make your experience even more happy, here are a couple of pro tips, tips that we just found out along the way, is that bring your own shade, bring water shoes and bring mojitos. It was very tempting to head back to Rap Town and go drink mojitos in some seaside bar. But there was one more nude beach that we hadn't discovered yet. The previous beaches weren't nude enough, which they were. Now I think we found ourselves an official nude beach. Wow. Not bad for a nude beach, right? Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Temperature is rising, which makes this walk, hike, a little bit harder, but what you get in return is just wonderful. The views are extraordinary. It's like I'm top of the world. I'm on top of the world looking down on creation. I have the impression that here on Rep, whenever there is a nude beach, all the surrounding beaches also automatically become nude beaches and the surrounding beaches of those beaches become clothing optional. It's like a very, very wide circle of nude beaches or semi-nude beaches. It's incredible, it's really cool. Beach after beach we passed by, always there would be naked people. Had we been wrong about the cake and was the secret to happiness in the nude beaches after all? Or was it still something that we hadn't discovered yet? 
That's when the words of Natalie started to come back to us. Everything will be done. I just relax and enjoy. <laughs> you know, it's just have fun. That's yeah. the, mo man, the most important thing. Here. Just sit there and drink coffee, relax, <laughs> tell jokes and things like that. And I was like, every day, every covered. day covered with olive oil. Well, it functioned. I'm still new, but okay. <laughs> You just make fun of everything yeah. and everyone. Yeah. You just do pranks on each other. Yeah, that's Here, true. put this on your body, it helps. <laughs> <laughs> but the most important lesson, she had already given away the first moment we met her. Yes, I want to know why Rob is called the happy island. Hey. If there is one thing that we learned in Rap, it's that nude beaches are a great source for happiness, but also that it's important to not take things too seriously, to laugh a lot and to just enjoy life. What also makes me very happy is a glass of wine, delicious wine, for three euros with this view. I mean... This is the point in the video when we normally tell you what's coming next time. But the thing is, we don't know yet. It will all depend on the weather. If the weather is going to be very nice, we're going to do something really cool in Croatia. If the weather is going to be not so nice, we're going to do something also cool probably, but in another part of the world. So if you want to know what's going to happen next, you will have to subscribe to this channel. That is my line. That is your line. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, subscribe to our channel. Put, a, put on your notifications if you don't want to miss anything. I will just see you in two weeks. Bye-bye.